Hello and welcome back to Euro Football Daily, where today we're looking at 10 players who may never get their dream move. Let's get into it. 10. Hugo Lloris to PSG With just a year remaining on his contract at Tottenham, Hugo Lloris' future remains uncertain. The French stopper has been with the club since 2012, racking up over 370 appearances and was appointed captain by Maurizio Pochettino in 2015. The Argentine is a huge admirer of Lloris, and this summer was thought to be interested in bringing the 34-year-old to PSG. The former Nice keeper is reportedly keen on moving back to France, telling Canal Plus earlier this year that he is always in contact with his former boss. Lloris has yet to win a trophy in his nine years at Spurs. In fact, he has only one title at club level to his name, the Coupe de France with Lyon back in 2011-12. No surprise then if the Frenchman was seeking a move to Paris, where silverware is almost guaranteed. However, PSG opted for a younger, cheaper option in 22-year-old Gianluigi Donnarumma, who signed on a free transfer from AC Milan this week. It seems likely the Tottenham skipper will see out his contract in North London then, scuppering any plans for a dream reunion with Pochettino. 9. Raul Jimenez to Manchester United Next up is Wolves talisman Raul Jimenez, who missed the majority of last season after suffering a fractured skull against Arsenal in November. The Mexican has yet to play since, but has recovered well following surgery, and is expected to return to the pitch for the new season. Jimenez cost Wolves £40 million following his permanent switch from Benfica in 2019, and since moving to the West Midlands has looked well worth the money, scoring 48 in 110 matches, becoming the club's all-time Premier League top scorer. In the past, the former Atletico Madrid man had attracted interest from some of Europe's biggest clubs, most notably Juventus and Manchester United. Soon after last summer's transfer window, Jimenez revealed that the Red Devils made an approach to sign him, but an agreement was never reached between the clubs. The striker refused to rule out a future move to Old Trafford, but following his long injury layoff and having recently turned 30, a move to Manchester seems off the cards for the Wolves' number 9. 8. Kalidou Koulibaly to Manchester City since establishing himself as one of the best defenders in Italy after making the move to Napoli in 2014, Kalidou Koulibaly has continuously been linked with a host of top Premier League sides. The Senegal international has made 283 appearances for the Naples club, averaging 3.7 tackles and interceptions per 90, the highest average for a Serie A centre-back in that time. Over the years, the defender has been heavily linked with the likes of Manchester United, Liverpool and Chelsea, yet he came closest to a move to Premier League champions Manchester City in the last summer window. A 60 million euro move to the Etihad was being touted, but after talks broke down, the citizens opted for Ruben Diaz instead. To make matters worse, Man City made an embarrassing gaffe as Koulibaly's name featured on Diaz's announcement on the official website. According to Mundo Deportivo, the 30-year-old was eager to play under Pep Guardiola and was disappointed at the move failing. With Everton now rumoured to be interested, Koulibaly may have to settle for a Premier League club outside the top four. 7. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang to Real Madrid For the first time in 26 years, Arsenal failed to qualify for Europe, finishing 8th in the league last season, and they weren't helped by their captain, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's drastic dip in form. The Gabon international scored 10 in the Prem, 12 fewer than he managed in the two seasons prior and his lowest tally since his days with Dijon in 2008-09. Before making his move to the Emirates in 2018, the then Dortmund striker spoke of his desire to play in the Spanish capital, telling L'Equipe that his childhood dream was to play for Real Madrid, and that he promised his grandfather he would one day wear the famous white jersey. Los Blancos have often been linked with his signature, but with their frontman Karim Benzema showing no signs of slowing down, scoring over 20 goals in the last three seasons, there has been no concrete offer for the Arsenal man. Whilst there's no doubting his quality, at 32 years old and with his best years seemingly behind him, it looks like Oba's dream move will remain a fantasy. 6. Nabil Fakir to Liverpool In the summer of 2018, French forward Nabil Fakir came agonisingly close to joining Liverpool for around £50 million. The winger had just finished an excellent campaign for Lyon, netting 18 and assisting 7 in 30 games, and was seen as the perfect replacement for Philippe Coutinho. However, after Fakir travelled to Merseyside to finalise a deal, Liverpool pulled the plug at the final hour, with Lyon president Jean-Michel Ola saying that the Reds had experienced a change of heart. The World Cup winner joined Real Betis the following year and had a solid debut campaign in La Liga, contributing 14 goals in 32 appearances. 
Ten goal involvements last term followed as Betis clinched a place in the Europa League. Although Fakir has settled well in Spain, he will never forget the summer he almost joined the 2019 Champions League winners, and it seems unlikely now that Jurgen Klopp will ever turn back to the Frenchman. 5. Lautaro Martinez to Barcelona For the majority of summer 2020, it appeared that Lautaro Martinez would be joining Barcelona. The then 22-year-old had just finished his second full season with Inter Milan in which he scored 21 goals in 49 games and showed the Nerazzurri faithful there was life after Mario Icardi. Viewed as the next Suarez due to his relentless work ethic and cool head in the box, the Blaugrana appeared to believe that he would be the perfect replacement for the Uruguayan, whose new manager Ronald Koeman was determined to force out the club. Inter Milan quoted north of 100 million euros, and Barcelona refused to budge, which was lucky considering the financial chaos they are now experiencing. The player himself confirmed afterwards that, quote, I was really close to Barcelona, I had a discussion with Lionel Messi, but they had financial problems. Whilst Lautaro may have been denied the chance to work with his hero on a daily basis, he would of course play a crucial role in winning Argentina's first Copa America since 1993 this summer alongside him, scoring twice in three appearances. 4. Kevin De Bruyne to Liverpool it's difficult to believe now, but two-time PFA Player of the Year award winner Kevin De Bruyne actually grew up as a Liverpool fan. Born in the city of Ghent, the superstar's granddad installed in him a passion for Liverpool at an early age. And when he wasn't fantasising about playing at Anfield in his room filled with Reds paraphernalia, he was outside in his garden in a weather-beaten Michael Owen top, working on his weaker foot. He confirmed this when speaking to Goal in 2017, saying, I was a Liverpool fan, my family that lived in England were all Liverpool supporters, so I was too. Having tried to sign the then Wolfsburg playmaker when he was in charge of Dortmund, it must be incredibly frustrating for Jurgen Klopp to see De Bruyne continue to haunt him. He's been the crucial cog in City's winning machine that has picked up 8 of the last 12 domestic trophies available, and contributed 6 goals in 11 appearances against the Reds. 3. Raheem Sterling to Manchester United in a similar mould to Kevin De Bruyne, former Liverpool and current Man City star Raheem Sterling actually grew up supporting another team, Man United. Speaking to the Daily Mirror in 2019, he said, I shouldn't really say this, but when I was younger, I was a massive Man United fan. The forward went on to admit that he had an old United kit from when they won the FA Cup in 2004 and attended the 2007 final in person in which United lost 1-0 to Chelsea. This was of course the first to be played at the new Wembley, yards away from where Sterling grew up in Brent. It's therefore not difficult to imagine that when Sterling was a youngster, he dreamt of walking out onto the Old Trafford pitch as a Man United player. Scouted by Arsenal, Chelsea, Fulham, Man City and of course Liverpool, who he eventually joined in 2010, Sterling turned out to be the one who got away for the Red Devils. After three consecutive seasons of 20-plus goals, helping Man City win two Premier League titles, three League Cups and an FA Cup, Sterling's form dipped slightly in 2020-21, as City won their third title in four years. Having responded so spectacularly this summer with England, there is no doubt Sterling, still just 26, is delighted with how his career has panned out. 2. Wilfred Zaha to Arsenal Whilst Wilf Zaha has achieved great things in South London with Crystal Palace, becoming the club's all-time top scorer and appearance maker in the Premier League, as well as being named as the club's player of the year three times, it's fair to say that the Ivory Coast winger has wanted a new challenge for a while. Everton and Arsenal have been the club's most often linked with Zaha over the last two years, and in 2019 it seemed like a move to Unai Emery's Gunners was on the cards. Zaha, who had only signed a new five-year deal the year before, handed in a transfer request, but ultimately a move never materialised. This must have been gut-wrenching for the forward, who has made no secret of his love for the North London club. Speaking to Jamie Carragher's Greatest Game podcast in January 2021, he said his whole family supported Arsenal growing up, and claimed he only stopped rooting for them when he joined United in 2013, worried it would appear unprofessional. 29 in November, we're afraid that that particular move is never going to happen. 1. Paul Pogba to Real Madrid After years of flirting between Pogba and Real Madrid, which included the Frenchman calling Los Blancos a dream for anyone, a transfer to the Spanish capital doesn't appear likely for the time being. Despite having just one year remaining on his current contract, which has seen his value on transfer market fall to just 63 million euros, the lowest point since August 2016, a move to Real Madrid this summer is not on the cards. There are multiple reasons for this. Having once called the opportunity to work under Zinedine Zidane a dream for anybody who likes football, Pogba may not be as keen following his idol's resignation. 
And even if he does want to move, Real don't appear to be in the financial position to sign the superstar having lost 300 million euros in revenue during Covid. Even if they do manage to shift the deadwood, including Isco, Jovic, Bale, Mariano and bring in a sizeable fee for Varane, it seems that Pogba's national teammate Kylian Mbappe will remain their priority this summer. And by this time next year, a 29-year-old Pogba may no longer be top of Real Madrid's shopping list. We can't see this one happening anytime soon. And that's all we have time for today, but who did we miss out? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Bye for now.